I have 22 people with me now, so till I have sufficient number of people, we have previous questions. Gauri had asked, has asked me a question. The fifth question of the assignment of the current assignment, which was over over yesterday. Yes. And everybody yes. has not submitted, still not submitted. Everybody has still not submitted. All right, the question was there were two questions and the first question actually said you have to display the compound interest and the simple interest on a principal rate and time that is input by the user. The first question actually was supposed to display only the compound interest. For example, if, if, if a principal amount is taken for five years, I just want what is going to be the compound interest at the end of the fifth year, at end of five years. Okay, the second question was, that display the compounded interest after every year. For example, if there are five years, then you have to display first year ke baad kitna compound interest hai, second ke baad kitna, third ke baad kitna, fourth ke baad kitna, fifth ke baad kitna. Can you see the difference between the two? So question four actually said, so what you, what you are actually going to do is, you are going to take principal and rate and time principal and rate and time you will take as input from the user. Then using a formula, you will say CI is equal to what whatever it is and SI is equal to whatever it is. You will display CI back to the user and SI back to the user. This was question number four. Does it make sense, Gauri? Yes, sir. Okay, so the first question was uh, was fairly simple. All you had to do is was was input principal rate and time and using a formula. I did not give you the formula because you can find the formula from anywhere from your mathematics books or from the net. So using a formula, calculate CI, calculate SI, display CI, display SI and that's it. But question number five, it said that input to vesi karna hai, but you are supposed to so principal rate and time is going to be the same. Okay, input you have to input. Now you have to display. The compounded interest after every year. Now, for example, if T is three, it should display that the, at the end of the first year, it's a compound interest at second year, it's a compound third Sorry. year it's a compound. Yeah. Sir, I think so. Amount is there amount payable at the end of the each year. Uh, did I did I say com, uh, amount or did I write com, um, uh, interest? That amount. 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 No, in the question, the, does it say amount or interest? Sir, it says amount, but yesterday on the WhatsApp group you wrote that we have to find compound interest. Oh, uh, did I? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, just, sir. Just a second. Hmm. OK, final amount payable. Fine, so we'll take the assignment. Yes, sir, in the assignment you had written amount, but in the WhatsApp group you had told okay, to find okay. compound no worries, interest. No worries, no worries. Finally, we'll take the whatever was written in the assignment. OK, I forgot that I have written uh, amount payable. So does it matter amount payable or compounded interest? Yes, sir. Huh, yes, it matters, but you have to do the calculation, isn't it? Yes, you have sir. to do the calculation, yeah. OK, so. All right. Suppose, uh, OK, so what are we going to do? The question actually said uh, final amount payable at the end of each year. So amount we will take amount only that is that was actually given in the in the in the assignment. OK. It's my fault. I wrote that in the in the WhatsApp group. So we'll take the assignment. Wala thing as final. But even if you have comp written compounded interest, it doesn't matter. I just want to see how you do it. So suppose I will display the amount. OK, now suppose the principal was uh, 1000. Suppose principal amount is 1000. Rate is 10% and time is three years. What do you think it, uh, the program should actually do? How many amounts or how many interests is, are, is it going to display? 
Three. 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 Why? Because there are three years. So what you are going to do is you will start a for loop X one two T. OK, so and, and in the loop, what you are going to do is calculate some some sort of an interest. So I maybe I T maybe is equal to principal into rate into time divided by 100. Although this is simple interest. Yes, it will be a simple interest unless it is compounded later. Sir, it will be one. Yeah, it will be simple. Yes, I know it is going to be simple. Sir, Sir we yes, do not need time. to write time over here. So can we use while loop in it? OK, okay, okay. okay. it is going to be one year only. Yeah, thank you. Mathematicians, please uh, make sure I do this correctly. OK. Excuse me, sir. Yes, beta. So can we use while loop instead of for loop? Uh, why while loop? Don't you know we how can many use like while while t is uh, less than or equal to zero? Then after we have find the all thing, then at the end we can write inside the loop only t minus minus. Then it will go back in that. Uh, no, no. This loop, this program does not need a while loop. OK, it needs a for loop. Why? Because I know this repetition is going to happen thrice. Yes, what's all? That was what's all, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah, OK. So, Jabbi, you think about this program, ke mein. Socho, don't try to uh, invent a program. Yes, you can do it with while. Any program can be done with a while or a for or anything. OK, let me just give you an example. If I just use a for and I say uh, x is less than or equal to 10 and don't you think this is actually a while loop? Yes or no? Yes, Guys? Sir. Yes. Sir. Don't you think this is a while loop? OK, and on the other hand, if I write x is equal to 1 while x is less than or equal to 10 and I write x plus plus here, don't you think this is also a for loop? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. So any loop can be used for any purposes, but these structures are made in such a way that it is easy for us to perform perform this task using a for loop and this task using a while loop. So don't exchange them. If I know how many times something is going to execute, please use a for loop. Although you can bend yourself here or there and make it using a for while loop also. But that doesn't that will not justify it. OK, guys, what's all? Yes, sir. OK, now this question said. <coughs> do you understand what uh, what the compound interest actually means? So principal yes. changes every year. Principal changes every year. But if I use a simple interest, it the, the 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 principle remains the same for each year. OK, so yes. now what we are going to do is. Um, all right, suppose I display IT here, the, in, the interest I am going to display here and then I say P is equal to P plus uh, IT. What do you think is this this program is going to do now? It is going to calculate the interest for first year. First year it is going to be 1000. 1000 and rate is 10 percent. It calculates 100 rupees and interest is 100 rupees. It displays 100 rupees. So first it displays 100. Now this 100 plus the previous principal amount, this principal amount now becomes 1100 now. And now it calculates the new. Interest. So 1100 the now the compounded interest is 110 rupees. OK, because the principal has changed. So in the first year, the principal was 1000. The next year it was 1100. Next year it is going to be 1 to 1 0. Something like this. Here the interest was 100 rupees. Here the interest was 110 rupees. Here the interest is going to be 121 rupees. Now this is the program that I actually wanted from you. Yeah, guys. Yes, Peter. 
Sir, actually, I have also doubts from uh, question number four. Question number four. And what is the doubt? Sir, actually, actually, uh, to find the compound interest, the uh, since the formula is like that, principal uh, uh, amount minus principal, no. So uh, I calculated the amount using the formula, uh, the principal one plus rate upon hundred up, uh, uh, raised to the power uh, time. So yeah. for that, what I uh, what I developed was that. I used uh, I used the variable rate two as one plus rate upon hundred, and what did I do? I used mass dot pow rate mm -hmm. two and time. I uh, just um, I just um, uh, calculated the, the cube uh, like okay. it was three years. So I calculated the cube. Are you understanding mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I uh, mm -hmm. calculated using this formula uh, and. Um, Mm -hmm. It was giving just a minor difference in the compound interest. It was like six six two point zero 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 nine. So I couldn't understand uh, why did it give so. What was the difference between your calculated amount and the calculated one calculated by the computer? So it was uh, just zero point zero 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 nine. Okay, so that is uh, negligible. When we calculate floating uh, amounts. There is going to, there is bound to going, going to be a difference. Okay. Okay. When we calculate float, yes. when we calculate real numbers on a computer, there is bound to be a difference. Okay. So that's that's negligible. Okay. My question and now. Hanji Bita. Yes. Okay. Sir, in question number five, uh, what did I understood from the question number five? I calculated the amount using the for loop only, but. Mm -hmm. Uh, in the terminal window, ma'am, uh, sir, sir, it was really very shocking to see the results. Sir, uh, I I will discuss a uh, little later. Uh, first, I think we can continue with the class. Yes, and uh, the the result on the terminal window is not shocking. The program must be shocking. Sir, okay. according to uh, as far as I know, sir, I think it was correct. No problem, sir. I'll I'll uh, sh I'll share you do the result. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so ma the question now, what is actually going to happen here is we will input whatever amount from the user, and I've taken some examples like one thousand and ten and three. So when this loop executes, it is actually going to run three times. When it runs for the first time, it takes one thousand as the principal amount. Rate is already ten percent, and it calculates one hundred rupees as the interest. An interest in the first year it displays as hundred. And what it does, what is does is in the previous amount prim principal, it it adds the new interest, whatever interest has been calculated. And you can see that the first in the first year the principal amount was one thousand, in the second year it was eleven hundred, in the third year it was one thousand two hundred and ten. And these are the three amounts that are the, these are the three interests that are going to be displayed. Now, in case you have do used my WhatsApp message, your question actually should have been displaying these three amounts. OK, and in case uh, you have taken interest, it should actually display display three these three interests. The question was Gauri's. Yes, Gauri, does it make sense to you or no? Yes, sir, it does. OK. OK, so we'll start. It's 11 o'clock now. We'll start with our normal class and the class was on methods. Uh, what do we understand by a method? What is a method? You have been using methods for so long. Can can I have an answer and please raise hands if you know the answer? I don't want a bookish answer. You can give me whatever answer that comes to your mind. Yes, Gauri. OK, is, is it only Watsal who knows the answer? Is it only Watsal who knows the answer? What is a method? Only two people. Gurusis also. The rest of you are not confident. OK, Vatsal raise the hand first. So Vatsal, please tell me what is according a... to me. Uh, methods are the functions in Java. 
we okay. can call them as functions as well. Okay. And um, they contains uh, they contains uh, statements inside them, and, and uh, they perform a specific task. They perform a specific task. Okay, perfect. Okay. In fact, when I write the definition of a method, it is a name given to a set of statements performing one complete task or subtask. OK, this is my definition of a, of a method. So basically, it is a name given to a set of statements. Statements performing one complete task or subtask. I think not many people raise their hands. I'll start from the beginning. I will not start off with thinking that you already know this. Let me take a simple example. Um, somebody starts a bakery in a small town. And bakery in the bakery. What does he have to do? He actually has to purchase all the material. He has to bake the bread and the cakes and whatever, and he has to sell also. OK. Now because it is a small bakery, he himself does all the purchases. He himself bakes the cakes and bread. He himself sells those also. Maybe goes home house to house and to sell it. Does that organization make sense to you guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. OK, in five years that bakery has now become uh, become bigger. They have taken a bigger uh, plot and bigger bakery is created. Now because the bakery is uh, create, uh, I mean uh, they are manufacturing or creating uh, a larger number of cakes and bread and stuff like that. What they do, what these people do is they have created separate departments for these now. So that means they have created a purchase department. Their work is only to purchase stuff. So whenever something is lacking or, or, or is less in the bakery, they are automatically sent to go and buy the, that stuff from wherever they can buy and to uh, bring it back. Second department that was created was the baking de bakery department. So what these depart this department is supposed to do, this department is only going to bake the cakes and bread. They are not going to make any purchases. They are not going to sell anything. The last department is actually the sale department. OK, so what is the sale department doing? Sale department is selling them, so they are the front end of the shop and they are sitting over there on the counters and selling those cakes and bread. Does this organization make sense to you guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. yes. Can you see what what actually was done earlier was because bakery was simple, it was not too complex. One person was responsible for doing all those things and he could do it because it was I mean the the amount the number was not too big. He could do it. But after the bakery became bigger and more and more complex, he naturally would have started manufacturing other things also. Apart from cakes and bread. Wo buns bhi bana raha hai or pao bhi bana raha hai or kuch aur bhi bana raha hai. So, Naturally, he couldn't do it everything himself, so he created a department. One department is responsible only for purchases. One department is only for baking and one for only for selling. And they are doing only those. Aap bakery wale ko bolo ki tum bakery chhod do aur jaake purchase karo. He will not do it. He will do only the baking part. OK, now if this makes sense. When a when in a program we actually have um, a simple task to do. Say, we principal rate and interest. Wala le lete. I don't actually need me separate methods to perform all those tasks. So everything actually is done in the void main function. So everything is done in the main function itself. 
so all the entire task is performed here only the entire task is performed inside the main function itself aap aise karte ho waise what do you do is you create a class inside that in you write public static void main function inside that you do whatever and finish it off that's all do you create any method no you don't why because the complex the task is not too complex you can stop me wherever you stop stop uh, understanding things now um so that means uh इसके अंदर ही परचेज वाला काम भी इसी के अंदर हो रहा था इसी के अंदर ही बेकिंग वाला काम भी हो रहा था एंड सेलिंग वाला काम भी इसी के अंदर हो रहा था वट हैपन्स वेन द थिंग्स बिकम कॉम्प्लेक्स वेन थिंग्स बिकम कॉम्प्लेक्स वट हैपन्स इज वी एक्चुअली क्रिएट अ परचेज डिपार्टमेंट so purchase department is actually a method performing a task a sub task now void bakery department is a method which is performing only baking part and we have void sale department which is actually doing the selling part okay and we also have a void main function which is actually controlling everything so so how many functions do we have now we have a purchase department which is actually doing only purchases now i'm not writing whatever statement is in is in that but it is doing only purchases bakery department is doing only baking and sale department is doing only selling what is the main function doing getting it is controlling everything so the man who actually started the bakery is not doing anything is he doing any purchasing no is he doing any uh, baking no is he doing any selling no he is sitting over there and saying okay today i want 1000 piece breads loaves of bread to be manufactured today okay purchase department now go and buy stuff for it now this is to be given to bakery department give it to the bakery department they'll make so and so and this is to be done given to sale department they will do so and so so the main function is basically controlling everything does it make sense guys yes or no yes yes okay it will make sense don't think ahead okay aage complexity mat sochte raho abhi to itna hi sochte raho jitna main samjha raha hu All right so don't think ahead please don't think ahead so think only whatever i am telling you so the main function is controlling when we say controlling it he is basically performing the calls to the methods okay uh now so earlier system was this when we had everything done in the main function that means main function was actually the malik of the of the bakery and he was doing the purchasing and he was doing the baking and he was doing the selling and stuff like that but when complexity started he is now this main function is again the malik of the of the of the shop and he is only controlling he is only saying okay you do this you do this you do this and whoever is doing this are the various departments what are these various departments doing they are basically doing one complete task can you understand this now what is the one complete task that a purchase department is supposed to do he is supposed to take money from the shop he is supposed to buy thing at whatever prices have been decided by the malik and they are supposed to transport the stuff back to the shop so this is the one complete task that purchase department has to perform similarly bakery also performs a task and sale also have a, has to perform a task i don't have, have to uh, specify what task it is but they also do one complete task in fact i will call it a sub task now okay you understand what a sub task actually means what is the difference between a task and a sub task sir part of a task is called as a sub part of a task yes one complete task is complete one complete task a sub task would be one part of that task which is used to complete that task now okay 
Now, on the one hand, we have main, main function doing everything. On the other hand, we have various functions, various methods who are actually helping the main method perform that task, those tasks. OK, after this is done, what we need to understand from uh, in methods is these two things. The call to a method and the definition of the method. Uh, what is the definition of a method? The basic definition of a method is is not that definition. It's not this definition I'm talking about. Okay, I'm talking about this. Definition. This is called as the definition of the method of main method. OK, so. The method basically comprises of first. Return type. In this case, it is void. I'll explain each one of them to you just now. Then the name of the method. In this case, it is main. Number three arguments. Arguments that is the values passed to the method. In this case, it is none that brackets are empty. Number four is the body of the method. Okay, body of the method is actually nothing. There is nothing inside the braces, but whatever braces are there, these braces contain the statements which are actually going to be performed whenever I execute main method. The definition has to have these four things. If any one of these things is missing, if any one of these things is missing, then it is missing. For example, if I remove these braces, is the method defined? Can I say the method had, has been defined? Yes. Is the method defined? No. The answer is no. Why? because the braces are missing. Are we clear? So when I yes. ask you a technical question, I'll the question, technical question would be. Uh, just a second. Just a second. Sir, good morning, sir. All well, sir. Sir, class going on. Hanji. Hanji, sir. Uh, 11, 11.30, sir. Hanji, sir. Hanji, sir. OK. Sorry for the interruption. Um, all right, so when I ask you a technical question, I'll ask you, is the method defined? If I just write void main function, is this method defined? No, the answer is no, it is not defined. Why? Because something is missing there. So if I ask you, uh, if I write void main and then I write these braces, is it defined properly? No, it is not. If I write main method and the braces, is it defined properly? No, it is not because the return type is not there. So all these four have to be there. Guys, does this make sense? Sir, should a modifier be there as well? Which modifier? Uh, like public, uh, uh, no public beta. private. Beta. Yeah. No beta. These are the things that have to be there. Even if I don't write a public there, you know what it means. We actually I have not actually done the default thing, but you don't have to have that. OK, sir. OK, OK, so uh, so a method has to have all these uh, four parts. I'll just move that because I'm going to send this to you. All right, are we OK with this? You have already done these methods. OK, you have done method, so um, I know that you know some of it. OK, all right. Let's understand some other things now. By the way, guys, uh, tomorrow when we start, I'll give you a test. OK, it's not going to be a unit test, but a test to find out how much you have understood. OK, to find out how much you have understood. Now, don't start thinking about the test. I just said that because I, I, I was afraid I would forget it. So don't let me forget that. OK, now 
let's start yes. off with writing the functions for example um what's all i'm going to write without the public static void okay so don't worry about public and static okay, although sir. although all the methods will have public and static but i'm not actually bothered about it right now when you create your functions inside your uh, inside blue j you will write public static and so on okay but for the moment i don't want to write that suppose this main function was actually supposed to perform a task and that task was to display hello on the screen so what would be the, the how would i perform that task i'll say print and i will write hello okay is this pro function fine guys yes sir. yes it is fine yes, so when i execute main function it is going to display hello on the screen all right now let me do the same thing using a method which is going to help main function perform this task so i write void main function i write main function i did not write anything here but i create another function called void say hello function and i write the system dot out dot printl and hello here uh so now what is happening is the main function is not responsible for displaying the hello say hello function is actually responsible for displaying the hello on the screen can you see that these two pro these two programs are actually corresponding to my bakery wala example are they yes or yes. no yes they are yes sir here the main function was actually doing everything by itself so and here the main function is not doing anything it is the say hello function which is actually displaying hello on the screen but by the way uh, unless and until main function execute say hello function it will never be executed so how do we execute it we need to call it right we need to call it. it so how do we call it we write say hello the name of the function braces open and closed and a semicolon and this actually becomes the call to say hello function okay and so, this is actually just a second this is actually the definition of say hello function yes who wanted to say something sir before sir we created an object of the class and that object was supposed to uh, call that function the object was supposed to call that yes. no yeah okay अभी मैं कह रहा हूँ पिछला भूल जाओ अभी जो भी कुछ किया सो ऑल द एग्जाम्पल्स दैट यू आर गोइंग टू डू लेट मी क्लियर क्लियरली राइट दैट यू विल ऑलवेज राइट पब्लिक स्टैटिक अलॉन्ग विद इट वॉट इज स्टैटिक यू डोंट नो येट आई विल एक्सप्लेन इट टू यू वेन आई एक्सप्लेन थिंग्स ओके सो यू डोंट नीड एन ऑब्जेक्ट हेयर सो यू क्रिएट अ क्लास and in fact what we'll do is we will use blue j to perform this task so that it is very very clear to you Can you see the screen, guys? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, this is the program that I wrote. All right. Let me compile this. Compilation is no problem. And when I uh, right, click on, right click on uh, test, execute the main function directly, and it displays hello on the screen. is it fine yes sir yes okay sir but you wrote so, say hello yes the function's name was say hello the display was hello okay sir theek okay? hai yeah okay now see what is actually going to happen is i execute main function i execute main function so when i go out 
and execute uh, main function i will execute main function main function is going to execute say hello and hello is going to be displayed on the screen right so yes. whenever you write a program please write the program in such a way that everything is displayed uh, everything starts off from the main function so that means you will always execute main function although you are at liberty to execute say hello also directly from there isn't it let me do that can we do that i can directly execute say hello from here also isn't it yes sir we will not do it okay we will always execute the main function from here okay so uh, this was the program and uh, we have seen it in in our uh, test program also now uh what is the say hello function actually going to do say hello is going to do say hello only isn't it say hello say hello is going to say hello only isn't it okay what if it is something like a purchase department which will buy only atta from outside don't you think and maybe if they, he is supposed to buy atta he will always buy 10 kg of atta suppose i want to write a program which is actually going to say something okay so i'll change this name to say hello to say something okay and what what something is going to be there i will actually pass it from here so if i say hello there it will display hello there and if i say something if i say say something say goodbye it is going to display goodbye now what ha have i changed here is that while executing the method i am actually going to pass some value also and what i am passing is actually a string so i'll probably take i'll take the argument as string maybe i'll name it as s and instead of displaying the hello i will actually display a hell uh, display s over there now how are things going to happen now when i execute main function it is actually going to call say something first with hello there so it is going to pass the hello there to the function call say something and string s is going to get the value of what of what hello there hello there so hello there value because this is the first call hello there is going to be passed to s what will be the value of s s will be hello there and what is it going to display it is going to display hello there yes yeah. okay so once this once this function finishes it goes back to the previous program and then starts executing the second statement the second statement is again a call to the second method to the second uh, same method but with a different value what is s now hello there no this is the second call so goodbye goodbye okay so goodbye now s is goodbye why because this is the call that was made now so what is passed actually what is passed is a goodbye so goodbye is passed to s and what does this display here it displays goodbye what we are going to do now is going to use the same program um Sir. Yes, beta. So when it goes to that statement hello there, then it comes to the function say something. Then uh, will that control of the function go back to the function main? Yes. Or go. Okay. Yes. Yes. So once once see execution happens when I start main function, it starts from here. The first statement is a call. So when there is a call, it actually goes and executes say something. it performs whatever task is to be performed here once it reaches the end of that method it goes back and executes the next statement from there see the control has gone back to the main function then the control back naturally comes back to say something again it displays something here and then it comes back here the main function is finished yes 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 sir okay so when i execute this now 
It displays hello there and goodbye. Did I write a print or a print LN? So they have written print, not LN. Wow. Okay, that is why. Okay, so we'll just write a print LN and in bracket S. Okay, so if I execute this now, uh, what is going to happen is it displays hello there and goodbye. So that means once the call goes to say something, hello there is passed, hello there is displayed, it comes back. Second call, it goes back to say something, goodbye is passed, goodbye is displayed, it comes back again. Make sense? Yes, sir. All right. So let me change something here now. So I say. System dot out dot print ln one. System dot out dot print ln two. System dot out dot print ln three. What is the final output going to be of this program? One hello there, two One hello there, two three. and three. Perfect. Did everybody get this? So when yes, I execute sir. the main function, when I execute the main function, it displays the system dot print ln. So whatever it is, it displays. So one is displayed there. Now this is a call to the to the say something function. So naturally it goes to say something function, display something, comes back, and so that means hello there display ho gaya. So one and hello there display ho gaya. Yes, Peter. Sir, what is the role of system dot out dot print ln one, two and three here? One, two and three, I'm just displaying some values. The role of this is. Uh, uh, how do you figure out that to how the control is being passed back and forth? Can you see the control is coming back and forth? Yes, sir. I'll explain again. So when I execute the main function, this is the first statement being executed. So one is being displayed. What happens here? Say something is called. So say something is called with hello there. It displays hello there. So one ke baad hello there display ho gaya. The call returns back to the state. This statement now. So kya display ho gaya? Two display ho gaya. This is the third thing being displayed. This is the call to goodbye. So to call to say something with goodbye. So here, what is it going to display? Goodbye. This is the fourth being thing being displayed. It returns and displays three here. Let's see the running of this program. And see how things are happening. So ye one kaha se display hua hai? Ye main function se hua. Ye hello there kaha pe hua. This is being displayed in say hello. Two from where it is, it is being displayed from main function. Goodbye from from say, say, something. say, something. say something. something and three from main again main main, main method again. All right, all right. the time now 30 we have five minutes Okay, can you tell me what is going to be the output of this program? Can you tell me what is the output of this program, guys? Anybody? Sir, same as the last one. Same as the last one. Now, although I have created another function called do something, but is doing do something doing something? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. It's not doing no, anything. Sir. Now, unless the controller says, OK, do something, then it has to do something. So if I need to call it, so I'll, I, I'll write something like do something function. This is the call. What is the output now? Sir, one, hello there, hello there. Hi. hi, two, goodbye, 
Three. Right. So this is a simple program that we are going to start off with. Start off with. I will actually be sending you some uh, questions today, which you can practice for tomorrow. OK, before we start our class tomorrow, you would have done those. OK. Oh. Um, Excuse me, sir. Yes, beta. Sir, even I had a doubt in that compound interest question. I just remembered that I had also used the uh, math library functions that math.pow. Mm -hmm. I was having a huge difference in my answer and the answer given by the computer. A huge difference? Yes, sir. OK, I'll have to see your calculation, beta. I, we cannot Sir, discuss. it was yes. displaying up to 10 decimal places. Yes, uh -huh. sir. Uh, the 10 decimal places we'll figure out tomorrow how. So you please remind me tomorrow how are we going to limit the number of decimal places? For example, if your average of your marks is calculated and the marks average is supposed to have only one decimal place, whereas when you calculate in your program, it is going to go up to six or seven or eight decimal places. So that is doesn't look good, isn't it? So yes. how things happen there? How to limit the number of decimal places? We'll do that tomorrow. Just remind yes, me. Yes, and you have to come today that compound one. OK, no worries. Will be here. Yes. Sir, what if we uh, what if we do after the system not out dot print ln two? Sir, what if we call again the do something function again? Uh, where what will be the where? Where? Do something function is going to be called where? What if we what if we call again the do something function again? Again. So where yeah. do you want to call it? Maybe here only. So after goodbye. After goodbye. After goodbye. After goodbye. Yes, sir. OK, so what is going to happen now? That is being that will be called. It will display one. Hello there. Hi, two. Goodbye. Hi and three. So do something is going to display high always because I'm not passing it anything. It is going always going to display high because it is not doing anything dynamic it is doing something fixed whereas see something is actually doing something dynamic whatever i pass to it it actually performs that okay sir. okay okay i'm going to pass this program to you on your whatsapp group and you can figure out by it for yourself you, sir. yes peter sir i wanted to ask sir yeah sir day before yesterday sir i was trying to uh chat uh, in that general channel uh, through my mobile. So sir, from mobile phone, sir, it, it uh, shows the message, sir, that your chat is disabled. From mobile phones, you cannot post in general channel. OK, so why are you? Why were you actually chatting on general there? No, 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 not general. In in my uh, in my class, Punjabi teacher told me to type uh, answer. I mean, he was, sir, he was okay. doing it in this the chat. General, sometimes it showed, chat. shows disabled. Sometimes it shows disabled. That is a fluke in this Microsoft Teams, and we have not been to be able to figure out what the problem is. It sometimes happens that your chat is disabled. It's not disabled for anybody. It's enabled for all. Okay. Sir. Okay. Okay. Sir? Uh, yeah. I uh, I can I send you the, my program. Only yes, yes, separately. Yes, please yes. Send on WhatsApp. Let me yes, on WhatsApp. Take care. Uh, Kritin, Kritin wanted to say something. Sir, I, uh, I asked that may I also send my program. Yes, I'll check that program. Only that program. Yes, take care. I'll check that program. No worries. OK, I'm not uh, giving you uh, anything right now. I will be sending two, two or three small programs so that you could practice before we actually start off tomorrow. And please go through the two videos that happened that I was sent earlier and the video for today, whatever we have done and try to figure out whatever problems, uh, try to clear whatever problems you have through those videos. Otherwise, I'll uh, I'll explain in the class tomorrow. 
ठीक है डन ओके सो आई आई सी यू टू मोर बाय सर